Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how do we use a nested regression or hierarchical regression in Stata. Now, uh, you might have seen these kind of uh, regression tables in some of the research papers that you are going through. And you would see that uh, the researcher would have uh, used uh, some variables, but instead of having all the variables in the model, he would the researcher would try to add um, each variable, uh, each additional variable one by one. So this is what we call a nested regression because all these models are nested within this this specific final model or hierarchical regression, right? <clears throat> because you can see there is a hierarchy of number of independent variables or uh, the predictors in the in this regression. So today we are going to see how do we perform this in Stata. Okay, so for that let's uh, use some data set. You can use any data, but normally in my video I use the auto data. <laughs> So theoretically, these, these variables might not make sense, but um, it's the easily available data for everyone. So the idea is that when you are going to use these, uh, these commands, then you at least have some, uh, some we, we at least have some common data that we can, uh, we all can use and uh, we all can compare the results uh, to see if we have performed the task correctly. Okay, so let's say we want to, uh, do regression of price we want to regress price on m mileage we would simply use the regress command and perform the regression now if we want to increase the uh, we want to input another variable another predictor that is weight we would again have to run this second regression again we would have to run this third regression so now you can see that we are running these regression one by one but instead of performing all these regression one by one and having to add a new variable or set of variables we can rather use a nest reg uh, prefix right because it is before the the command is coming before the column so whatever comes before the column we call it a prefix prefix command so uh, it's it is nest drag which stand for nested regression we use the prefix then the command then our independent uh, sorry our dependent variable and the set of independent variables are within parentheses so in this case we want to first have a regression where price would be the dependent and only mileage would be the independent which is mimicking this command then we want to have a second regression where price would be dependent whereas mileage plus weight that's why it is called nested because in the second regression the first regression or model would be nested in the second one right so the first regression is nested within the second regression because all the variables in the first regression are also included in the second regression so we just add the additional variable that we want to have the additional predictor then in last regression we had two additional independent variables and we have given that in this uh, specific parenthesis set of parentheses so if we regress this we would get exactly same uh, exactly same coefficients which is for this last model we would get uh, minus 86 for the mileage and if i can show it to you from the previous regression where we perform these tasks manually we also have the same uh, same coefficient right additionally this nested regression would give us uh, a table which would uh, show us the the uh, the r square from all these regressions for for example for the first model we had a r square of 21% uh, for second we had an r square of 29% and for the third one we had an r square of 35 percent similarly it would also give us the change in r square right so this is uh, the easy way of doing nested regression but i would like to add some more because we do not just want these regressions to be performed in stata we also want them to be uh, its output to be uh, you know in um, 
in the word or excel format but we we usually use outrec2 command uh, then we uh, have a file name let's call it abc.xls and replace any file that is already there if i execute this command so what i am doing is i am sending the the regression analysis or the nested regression table to to an excel file but if i open this file you would be amazed uh, to notice that we only have one regression which is the last one remember the last r square was 30.35 and the mileage was minus 86 you can compare it uh, with with the coefficients we have over there for so what this outrec2 command is doing it is simply uh, storing or sending it to the excel file only the last regression last estimate that we have so there is a way around for that uh, okay uh, so so what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, an option within uh, for for the nest drag command so if i show you the help file of uh, nest drag command we have these multiple options but what i am interested in is store and we have stub right so we use the store option and whenever we are going to use the nest drag options we would simply write the command name comma options and then we would use the colon right so any options of the nest drag command would come before the colon okay so we have the store command and the stub name is any name that you want to give right so we would use model for example and the rest of the command is similar to as we had over here now what the store would do it would store all the results in a, a variable or uh, let's say a, a macro which would not be visible in these variable list right but it would be stored in the internal memory of the stata and we can uh, restore them those estimates whenever we want so what it would do because in this case there are three regressions right three three blocks of regressions first one second one and third one it would store them uh, into model one model two and model three uh, uh, names right so uh, internal macro names so once it stores them still we wouldn't be able to use simply the outrec to rather we would have to restore those results so let me execute first this command so now what had happened is nothing fancy everything is same as before without the store option but now all these results are stored in this model uh, variable name so the first block results are stored in model one the second block results are stored in model two and the third one is in model three i can simply restore them by using estimate restore and then the the variable name so because it is the first model so it would be stored in model one so if i restore them now they are active the results of model one are active and if you want to look at what those results were you can simply click on this uh, this hyperlink and these are exactly the same values that you had seen over here so it is basically the block one now we can simply use the outrec2 command right if you are interested in other fancy options of outrec2 command then i have a bunch of videos on outrec2 and i would give that uh, link in the description you can uh, go and watch those videos okay so uh, uh, so now we can use outrec2 but remember this outrec2 would only store these results the last the, the whatever results currently are there uh, that we have restored so now you can see that these are the results that we have just restored them so let me close this window now we again have to restore the model 2 results which would be uh, these results right so we would use estimate restore model 2 and then again we would use outrec but instead of replace we can use append option 
if append is by default option so if you don't even write that it isn't an issue uh, and lastly I would restore the model 3 which is the last model which have all the variables and I would uh, use outtrack to gain now let's look at the results how how would it look like so this is how the results would look like this is exactly this the way we, we would have wanted them okay let's move forward let's use this uh, pcowr command which i have previously used the issue with uh, it isn't an issue but uh, the, the the shortcoming of this nest track command is that it won't give us the significance of the change in r so whether the, uh, the, the the change in r is uh, the change in r square is statistically significant or not for that uh, we use this command right and it would give us the uh, the change in r square and its uh, statistical significance uh, for each additional variable right next we can also use uh, uh, you know we have a variable by the name of foreign right and uh, uh, what this foreign variable is it uh, it contains whether the car was produced in a domestic country or a foreign country right so uh, what we want is we want to perform all this analysis but for each category separately so we can use the by sort foreign the variable name is foreign remember prefix and uh, so now you can see we have two prefix prefixes and this would perform the regression the nested regression let me show it to you so we have block three block two and one but in the for the foreign variable having a value equal to foreign right and then uh, this 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 block is for those cars that are produced uh, domestically so it is performing the nested regression uh, for each uh, subgroup okay so that's uh, that's all for the nested regression but i do have one more command that i will quickly go through although you do not need to necessarily use this command but uh, because some 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 people might have been using so i would just like to give an overview there is another command which is called high rag which stands for hierarchical regression and it is a user written command if you have to install it then you would use ssc install high rag and we can perform this similar task with the high rag in the same fashion nothing fancy uh, and it would give us uh, exactly same output that we had before right but just in case if if you if you had been using or you came across this high rag to command and you're confused that what is the difference between high rag and a nest track then just to clarify there isn't any difference nest track is uh, more powerful it is the built-in command in strata so if you are going to use it use nest track uh, before you leave uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit uh, the like button thanks for watching